हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एथिकल हैकिंग कोर्स पार्ट थ्री काली लिनक्स टूल सेट ओवर व्यू एंड एडिंग न्यू टारगेट टू अवर वी एम वेयर वर्क स्टेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस काली टूल सेट ओवर व्यू इट इज कैटेगराइज इन फॉलोइंग ग्रुप्स इंफॉर्मेशन गैदरिंग टूल वॉन लिबर्टी असेसमेंट टूल वेब एप्लीकेशन टेस्टिंग टूल पासवर्ड अटैक्स टूल वायरलेस अटैक टूल एक्सप्लोइटेशन टूल स्निफिंग एंड स्पोफिंग टूल मेंटेनिंग एक्सेस टूल रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग टूल स्ट्रेस टेस्टिंग टूल हार्डवेयर हैकिंग टूल फॉरेंसिक्स टूल रिपोर्टिंग टूल एंड सिस्टम सर्विसेज सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ काली लिनक्स टूल सेट ओवर यू काली लिनक्स टूल सेट ऑफर अ नंबर ऑफ कस्टमाइज टूल डिजाइन फॉर पेनिट्रेशन टेस्टिंग The tools are categorized in following groups: information gathering tool. These are reconnaissance tool used to gather data on your network and devices. Tools range from identifying device to protocol used. Next is vulnerability analysis or vulnerability assessment tool. Tools from this session focused on evaluating system for vulnerabilities. Typically, these are run against system found using the information gathering reconnaissance tool web application testing tools these are tools used to audit and exploit vulnerabilities in web server we will discuss briefly in later video it's a huge session next is password attack tool this session of tools primary deal with brute force or the offline computation of passwords or shared key used for authentication Now next is wireless attack tool. This tool are used to exploit vulnerability found in wireless protocol. 802.11 tool will be found here including tools such as air crack, airmon and wireless password cracking tool. Next is exploitation tools. These are tools used to exploit vulnerability found in systems. Usually a vulnerability is identified during a vulnerability assessment of a target next is sniffing and spoofing tools these are tools used to network packet capture network packet manipulator packet crafting applications and web spoofing there are also a few view ip reconnaissance applications next is maintaining access maintaining access tool are used to once a foothold is established into a target system or a network it is common to find compromised system having multiple hooks back to the attacker to provide alternative routes in the event a vulnerability that is used by the attacker is found and remediate next is reverse engineering these tools are used to disable and executable and debug program the purpose of reverse engineering is analyzing how the program was developed so it can be copied modified or lead to development for other programs reverse engineering is also used for marvel analysis to determine what an executable does or by a researcher to attempt to find vulnerability in software applications next is stress testing tool stress testing tools are used to evaluating how much data a system ca can handle undesired outcome could be obtained from overloading system such as caching a de device controlling network communication to open all communication channel or a system shutting down as also known as denial of service attack next is hardware hacking this session contains android tool which could be classified as mobile and arduino tool that are used for programming and controlling other small electronic devices next is forensic tool it's used to monitor and analyze computer network traffics and applications next is reporting tool or method to deliver information found during the penetration testing exercise and last one is system services This is where you can enable and disable Kali services. It's grouped into Beef, Redis, HTTP, Metasploit, MySQL, and SSH. We already discussed in previous video. We are going to move next and important step: adding new target to our VMware workstation. 
in this session we are going to add a new virtual machine as a our target operating system do ethical hacking practice on live environment is not a good idea so we are add new virtual machine in vmware workstation and we do all practices on that target machine we are use metasploit table 2 is our target operating system we can also use windows 7 or windows xp but we are discussed in later video so first what is metasploit table metasploit table is an intentionally vulnerable linux virtual machine this vm can be used to contain security testing test security tools and practice common penetration testing techniques so we are going to downloading and setting up metasploit table in vmware before we going to install we need to download metasploit table from sourcefrog.net it's a open source project after a download is completed, just unzip that file in specific location. I just show you, you can download from here. It's a zip file. I already downloaded and extract it to my computer. So I just open that file in VMware Workstation. File, open, and Metasploit table. And we need to open Metasploit table.vmx file and click open and you can see here its configuration you can change according to your need i just power on this virtual machine and click on copy it and our booting process will be started the default username and password both are msf admin you can see here welcome screen so type username as a msf admin and password as a msf admin you can also start graphically using start x command sometimes you need to remove temporary file so remove rm command to remove tmp dot capital x zero dash log file and it will write protected so we need root to delete that file so sudo remove temp and dot capital x zero dash log and type your password as a msf admin and it will delete it now run again star text and it will load in graphically mode you can't see menu here just right click applications terminal emulator and select your terminal emulator and check ip address if config command to check it and you can see here it's 192.168.198.139 and uh, check our Kali Linux IP address if config and it's 192.168.193.138 so we just check connectivity from Kali Linux to Metasploit table we use ping command to do that 192.168.198.139 and it will ping successfully so connectivity between our Kali Linux to Metasploit table is complete clear check IP again now ping from Metasploit table to Kali Linux 192.168.198.138 and it will also ping successfully so connectivity is complete just exit GUI mode and you can also run terminal command here like if config and you can see here its IP address use control alter to release your mouse from metasploit table so that's all about part 3 please subscribe and thanks for watching this video thank you so much